Hey guys, and welcome back to the Horror Realm. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm in a wonderful place where I like to go and walk and think. My awesome, awesome graveyard here. My family is very much Irish. Both sides, actually. We moved over here, and when we moved over to this great country of America, we had to drop the O off our last name because they wouldn't give us jobs when we came over. We, our family held, it's from right outside Dublin, Covert, 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 I think. I'll, don't check me on that. It's been a long time, but some C word outside of, uh, outside of Dublin is where we are from. We actually have our own castle called the Hurley Castle. Um, there's not much left. I'm not even sure if one of our bloodlines owns the castle anymore or not. There's a few walls and a guard shack left, but that's still pretty cool. I think on St. Patty's Day, that's one of the reasons we always really got into it this year with all the uh, media freaking everybody out and all that. My family is not going to get together, but I'm going to celebrate and my girlfriend, so that'll be fun. And I hope that, yes, you want to take the necessary precautions, just don't be dumb, you know, wash everything down. Wash your hands, stay away a little bit of space between you and other people. This isn't the blue bonnie plague. You're going to be just fine. So go out and enjoy St. Patty's Day. Because I'm going to, I'm going to stream later. And then I'm going out to eat made of buffalo wild wings. Not very Irish, it's the only place really open right now because everybody's yeah, it's a pretty big scare right now, and you know, I've been kind of harsh on people, I guess I get it, but yes, it's pretty highly contagious, but if you stay sanitized, and obviously you can spot sickly people for the most part, you should be okay, and where I'm at the, in this state, then the chances are pretty low, because we've had a, zero cases so far, so it's not like every third person that you're with it's got it and as far as the movie since we're talking on this wonderful wonderful 17th of march there's not a whole lot of movies out i i watched a uh unfortunately where i've been off last yesterday and tonight for my family holiday <laughs> i've uh, watched something called the society on the flicks of net it's terrible so uh i'm not even gonna review it i thought about doing a review for it but i guess it uh, the ma thing drew me in because i like shows that are ma because mature audience for those of you that don't know because you know you get to uh, get away with whatever you want not just because all the sex and violence but actually because you know life in general is for mature audiences only you can't put a, a PG-13 rating on life, so I don't watch PG-13 movies because it's just not the way life works. So I like realism. If I'm going to go to the movie and be enthralled or sit down and use my valuable time, I want something worth my time. So horror, that's why I'm such a big horror fan because it's so engaging so many topics hidden in subplots and you can get away with a lot more in horror and talk about today's society or just sit down relax and watch some uh, finer girls make it out or not so that's why i like horror and i've always liked it fortunately there's not a lot of good horror movies out at the moment and some theaters are actually shutting down which uh well, sucks because of this and I understand because you have to if you want to stop the spread of the KV then uh, you've got to uh, 
that better. Then you've got to uh, wipe down everything every time someone comes in. And for somewhere like movie theater, I kind of get it, but our cases are so low in this state that, that uh, I don't think we're too worried about it. I know New York was the first to start shutting bars, pubs, movie theaters, gatherings, and anything big. And then L.A. was next, and I don't know who was third, but every, everyone else soon followed suit. Isn't it beautiful out here? Just look, look at that. The mist, the rain, it's Ireland day. So, yeah, that's all going on. And like I said, I don't, I'm not downplaying it, but life uh, finds a way. Some, someone once said in the movie a long time ago, it seems like a long time, doesn't it? But we, we live such short lives that it's, it's really not a long time, which is sad. So enjoy life while you're here. Don't worry about the cave, eh? Get out there and do some stuff. You're going to be okay. Take your precautions. And enjoy this wonderful St. Patty's Day day. Day. <laughs> so, that's what I had to say. I hope you guys are having a, a wonderful St. Patty's Day. Get out there and do stuff. Enjoy your family. Tell them you love them. Wear your green. Don't be mean. Don't worry about Kaveve. It's going to be okay. We're going to make it through this. Some uh, more horror news is coming. Some more reviews are coming. But sometimes you got to get outside. I like to lift and run a little bit. I couldn't, could not get outside today in a wonderful day like this with the fog and drizzling rain. Reminds me of, well, my brain. I've never been to Ireland, but Ireland, but one ago, reminds me how it is every day there. So thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. Thank you for everything. Thanks for watching the channel. Look at this beautiful over my shoulder. Absolutely beautiful. Hold on. Love to see it. So, and as always, stay creepy.